Okay, we have another question. No? So, I just uh, get this, uh, got this question from uh, the Pinoy Electrician and Electrical Engineers Group. No? It's a Facebook group. So, given by Mr. Uh, ben Sardovia. Ben Sardovia. Okay. So, Okay, mga kakuryente, no? Tawag niya kakuryente, no? Ta tayo ka power, kawer pa, no? Okay. Sabi niya, mga kakuryente, pwede tanong? Ano pwede? Ano para barok tayo dito? <laughs> okay lang ba na 20 ampere breaker at number 12 na wire gamitin ko sa aircon na ito? Okay, in English, okay, to our non na uh, Filipino viewers, okay? May ask, what can I do is, is it okay to use 20 ampere circuit breaker and number 12 wire for this aircon? So if we are to uh, take a look at this aircon, we are given here an air conditioner. It has an ampere rating of 4.85. The wattage is uh, 1,110 watts. So it is uh, simply a uh, single phase to 30 volts, no? 30 volts single phase. This is a single phase. 60 hertz. Okay. So let us have uh, the most important rating here. Okay. Of course, we are given single phase, so 30 volts. So the ampere, we have 4.85 ampere. So the horsepower is not given in this problem. But uh, anyway, the given here is the ampere is uh it is uh 4.85 amperes air conditioner is considered to be a motor load in electrical okay that is considered to be a motor load so if you have a motor load especially if you have a larger motor let's say that is uh, one horsepower or above. No? Quite a large motor. Say. Even if you have a uh, a a fractional horsepower motor. Say. It's better to have an individual brand circuit. Individual brand circuit. What do I mean individual brand circuit? You have to consider individual brand circuit meaning you have a circuit breaker for your air conditioner that is considered to be a motor load. Considered to be a motor load. This question is, is the 20 ampere circuit breaker is enough? And number 12. So, he has 20 ampere. He has 20 ampere circuit breaker. And he has number 12. Number 12 wire. That is actually the uh, AWG. AWG. The American wire gauge. That is actually equivalent. Uh, 3.5 is uh, 3.5 square millimeter. Equivalent. The number 12 is 3.5 square millimeter. Okay, then uh, what is the opacity of this uh, 3.5? More or less, that is uh, more than 20 ampere. So we don't have the uh, the 3.5 is. Uh, and we don't have a wire table here. We can take a look at the uh, the Philippine Electrical Code or in the uh, national, <clears throat> even in National Electrical Code. Now we can uh, make use of that the wire table, okay? that uh, you will see 
Act well, actually, the usually the uh, number 12 wire is being partnered with uh, the 20 ampere circuit breaker. Okay, so okay, we have a 3.5 square millimeter. It's not specified in his uh, question. Is that the HHN, THW, TW? So there's no uh, specs like that. No? It's not specified in his uh, question. Okay, but uh, more or less the uh, sorry we don't have the uh, the table here. No, but more or less that is can be uh, 20, 25, or 30 more or less the uh, at the amperage the capacity of the number 12. It depends on the insulation type. It depends. Hindi natin na ilagay, no? Hindi natin na islama pala. Anyway, so, we have this. You are only given a very low ampere, which is 4.85 ampere. It's only 4.85 ampere. So you are given here the the watts. What is the horsepower? I think his horsepower is 1.5 horsepower. Sir, where, where did you get that? I saw here the specification of this uh, Medea air conditioner. So it has a wattage of 1,110 watts. Let's go over with that wattage. Actually, that is the, the power. 1,110 watts. If I'm going to convert this into horsepower, so one horsepower is equal to 746 watts. 746 watts. So let us divide this. 1,110 divided by 746. So the answer would be uh, 1.4879356578. So approximately it is 1.5 horsepower. This motor is 1.5 horsepower. One point five horsepower motor. Okay. Let me tell you this. If we are talking of the standard, let us consider the standard. Here in our country, in the Philippines, we are considering the Philippine Electrical Code. Well, it is. A, it has a counterpart internationally, which is the National Electrical Code of U.S. And it is being used uh, in uh, in many countries. The National Electrical Code. We have a 1.5 horsepower motor here, more or less, for this air conditioner. 1.5 horsepower, actually, that is the power output. That is the power output, meaning if we have here, this is the power, there is a power output that is the 1.5 horsepower. What do I mean? If we say 1.5, a 1.5 horsepower motor, a 100 kBA transformer, a 300 kBA generator, we are referring to the output, not to input. Okay? Please take note of that. It means that is the output. Okay, if not specified, meaning it is the full load output. That is the full load. Or the nameplate. Or the normal. Or rated. Or rating. They mean all the same. So we have here the 1.5 horsepower. Question. What do we mean by this? 1.5 horsepower if we have to consider the Philippine electrical code. Okay. I have here the table, the ampere table, okay, of 
the Philippine Electrical Code. I think it's also the same as the uh, National Electrical Code. If we are given a 1.5 horsepower, it's just like a multiplication table. We have one and one half horsepower here. Then we have a 230 volts here, 230 volts here. So what do we have here? Okay. You will see here that there is a 10 ampere here. 10 ampere. This is from the PEC table. Okay, 230 volts, one and one half. That is 10 ampere. It is because the code is, is safe, of course. That's, that's the purpose of any code. Safety. Okay, that is the main purpose of any code. Mechanical code, structural code, plumbing code. Safety is the number one purpose of any code. You have 10 ampere. So meaning, from the table, if you have a 1.5 horsepower at 230 volts, from the PEC, so you will have the 10 ampere. Let's take a look here. Take a look here. So we have here 4.85 ampere only. But sir, in the nameplate, it's only 4.85. What are we going to use? Is it the nameplate? That is 4.85 ampere. Is it the nameplate or the full load ampere indicated? in the Philippine Electrical Code. What are we going to use? I will not teach you. Let the code teach you or teach us. We should have a basis. We should have a basis. Anak, pakikuha mo nga yung malaking libro sa ilalim. Dandarin I, uh, I just uh, remembered something from the Philippine Electrical Code. Ayan, di natin na-scan, ano? Anyway, o, oh, uh, ano natin. Anyway, I have a detailed discussion about the Philippine Electrical Code. This coming Sunday, a live discussion on the uh, wiring design examples. Okay? That is for free. You may attend that for free. This coming Sunday, we have our 3-in-1. It's like coffee. Okay? We have a free RE, RME review. We have the special topic or the special the webinar, free webinar. And then we have another mentoring this coming Sunday. That is 8.30 to 1 p.m. No? I'm inviting everyone to attend. Okay, from this, no, I'm sorry, it's, it's quite uh, hard to, uh, for you to see this. No? But I will just uh, put the page where you can find it so so you can see for yourself. Okay, pwede niyo tignan, no? Mga kaber pa, no? Meron kayo dito, pwede po ninyong tignan. That is a uh, actually I will also discuss this in the near future. Okay. I will have a de very detailed discussion on the uh, wiring design example of the PEC. Okay, so from page 1052. Okay. From page 1052 of the Philippine Electrical Code 2017. Actually, it's just the, they have uh, the same uh, example in the BEC. Uh, 2009, just the same. In here, I, I, I don't uh, know if you can see this one. So, I have to apologize. We, sana makita, no? Di yata, partner. Ito. In here, the example is 25 horsepower, three-phase, 
So, tanggalin mo kaya yung ano, yung makita, yung tao. Okay. This one, this one, this one. Ito, nakikita ba to? Ito, mga power pa. Anyway, you can take a look at uh, page 1052 of the PEC. Uh, the example, that is example D9. There is a given uh, a 25 horsepower motor three phase. Okay, in sizing the conductor, he uses the 34 ampere, which is indicated in the PC table. No? In sizing the branch circuit conductor, and also in sizing the uh, the fuses, he uses the 34, and sizing the circuit breaker. The code uses what's on the table, not what's on the uh, main plate. So, sino susundin natin, mga kawer pa? No? Eh, kung ako ang masusunod, ah, susundin ko tong code. Hindi eh, pala ako masusunod. <laughs> I will follow what's on the, what is written, kung anong nasusulat. Okay. So I will follow what's on the on the standard. Okay? I will make use of the standard. Okay? De, mas magagaling ako sa mga otom ng libro na yan. Ako, eh, alala ko, meron akong ganong ano pa, kakilala. <laughs> no? So, pero tayo, for all of us, okay, maybe not all, okay, we have to use this because this is our Bible. Don't you know that? Many PEE treated the code as the Bible of the electrical practitioner. No? This is our standard. Just like the civil engineer, they have the structural code. The mechanical, the PSNE code. And my second profession as a master plumber, we have a plumbing code. Okay? Let's make use of the standard. Okay? But sir, when can we use the nameplate? There is also a provision here. Oh. Basa. Pakikita mo dito. No? That is using the motor and brand circuit overload protection. When sizing the overload relay, you can make use. You will see here that he uses the 31.6, which is the nameplate rating. How I wish na nailagay natin, ano, na limutan. Eh. I, we apologize. Huh? But you can verify from the code, even in the National Electrical Code. There are many similarities of the NEC with the PEC. Many similarities. So, when sizing wire and protection, we use the full load ampere, the, uh, what is indicated on the PEC table. In sizing the overload relay, we better consider the name plate. There, no? because that is very uh, sensitive. No? We can make use of that. I have a detailed discussion about the motor installation. That just around one hour discussion of this. No? So maybe you can uh, watch this in my channel. No? You will uh, just type Reggie Marinai and uh, motor installation. Then you will see my lecture there. Okay. So what are we going to use here, sir? Of course. What is being provided by the code? What is being provided by the code? The 10 ampere. We have a 1.5 horsepower. We have the 10 ampere. Ito gagamitin ko. Okay? I will use the 10 ampere here. Okay. The 10 ampere, let's just talk about First, let's have first the wire or the conductor. Okay? 
for the conductor, the wire. For the uh, branch circuit conductor, for the branch circuit conductor. How to size the branch circuit conductor? Branch circuit conductor, so we have the uh, base from the code that is 1.25 times the full load ampere, which is 10. So we'll be having here 12.5. That will be the uh, minimum opacity of the wire, the 12.5. Okay. Well, number 12 is uh, large enough okay, to cover that. It depends on the insulation. It can have 20, 25. I think it can also have 30 ampere opacity. Depends on the insulation type. Well, it's this is just 12.5. No? Number 12 is enough, the 3.5 for this. So therefore it is checked. Okay. The number 12, the 3.5. Then what about the 20 ampere? What about the 20 ampere? Is that enough for this air conditioner? Is that enough? Let's go now with the, uh, for the circuit breaker. For the circuit breaker. In the code, it says, usually the circuit breaker multiplier is 2.5 times 10, so that is 25 ampere. So that 25 ampere falls between the two circuit breaker sizes. We, we can have 20 ampere trick circuit breaker, just like what is given there. And then the next size is already 30 ampere free. What circuit breaker are you going to use? But you calculated here the 25 ampere that is between the two. What are you going to use? This question here is, is it okay to use 20 ampere? It says here, is it okay to use 20 ampere? What is the answer? For me, is it okay? For me, it's yes. No, sir. Our professor teaches us your calculated value. Then if you are to get the ampere trip of the circuit breaker, always go to the higher value. Higher value. Higher. Compared to what you calculated here yes sir can, can can you use 20 but you calculated 25 ampere can you use that yes it can be that can be. Again, kaya lang, nakalagay sa PEC kasi. <laughs> Hindi pala natin na ano, naisama. Wala sa, ano, isip ko, sana pala na ilagay natin. So, that is found on page you can see this. In page, again, 1052, you can see that, and 1053, okay, from page 1052 to 1053 of the PEC 2017. You will see here, you will see here 
that there is a calculated, let's say, for page 1052, the calculated value is 102. You will see that they use here 100 ampere trick. It is indicated in the code. Again, there is 101, they use 100, which is lower value in page 1053. And another one for the circuit breaker, their calculated value in page 1053 is 131, but they use 125. They use a lower value. Okay? So dito, mapapansin natin, pwedeng gumamit ng mas mababang value. Mas mababang value. Kasi ang tanong naman, is it okay? That is the question. Can you use a lower value? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. Practically, it's yes. I don't know how they will accept this in the licensure exam. <laughs> Because the question here is a practical, this is a practical question. Maybe it's not reviewing for the board examination. Sir, what about if that is in board examination? The usual is go to the higher value. That is the usual. But in the actual, in the actual practice, you can use a lower value. Remember, we are only talking of 10 ampere based on the PEC. But practically, we are talking of 4.85 ampere only. Nakita nyo? Kung tutuusin, ito talaga lang ang kuryente niya, 4.85. No? Okay? Kung yan ang gagamitin mo, if we are going to use 4.85, so, 4.85 times 2.5. Let's say, no, naglaro lang sa isip ko. Oh, that is only 12 ampere. You have your 20. There's no 12 ampere circuit breaker. Because the PEC is, is very conservative, meaning there is allowances. May pasobra siya. May pasobra siya. Sir, can, can we also use a lower value in sizing wire? No. That's the difference. Hindi ka pwedeng sa wire, dapat yun na yung minimum mo. Kasi maliit lang ang multiplier ng Y. 1.25 lang. So, no. That is the minimum capacity. Meaning you can go higher. Larger wire is better. There are so many advantages of using the larger wire. Well, that's very... Ang haba nun. Siguro mga 45 minutes yun pag kinaliwanan ko. No? Maybe you attend to my uh, design uh, special webinar in electrical design. You can use a larger. Because uh, I remember when I was working, my our consultant, they, they use three steps higher, four steps higher, I saw six steps higher, meaning this, this size is already enough. Then they will go up in the table. They will go higher sizes. They will use higher square millimeter of this uh, conductor. There are so many reasons for this. To shortcut lower voltage drop, okay? So you will have a, a low loss, power loss. There is a loss reduction. Of course, there is increase in efficiency. Okay? That will increase the load voltage if you are using the larger size of wire. Lower power input. Lower power input. Okay? Lower energy input. And eventually, it saves money. How is this? You attend my lecture webinar on electrical design. I will explain that video in, uh, in full detail. Okay. So, for me, can you use the 20 ampere? For me, 
if you are asking me as a practitioner, let's say, I will use. But in the licensure exam, wherein theoretical is very important, use the term in the board examination. Okay? Yung tingin ko naman, malabo na lumabas sa board exam ito. No? Yung ganitong uh, tanong, no? uh, ano kasi siya, sumakto siya sa kalahati. That is exactly at the middle of this. Okay? So that will be your choice now. In the actual practice, you have an air conditioner. We have the 20. Let's see. No, kung nagtitrip-trip yan, no? if the circuit breaker keeps on tripping, do not use that. Becomes hot. Do not use. But as far as I'm concerned, we are only talking practically of 4.85 ampere. The 10 ampere is just an allowance from the PEC. I am answering from the point of view also of a practitioner. Okay? Okay? You are uh, considering the licensure exam. What is the choices? Of course. I will choose 30 if I am going to consider the uh, 10 ampere here. Well, in the licensure exam, no, they will give it the ampere because the table is not given. You will be dependent on the ampere being given by the examiner. Then you can direct calculate that. All right? So, there you have to make a choice. But the usual when sizing a circuit breaker, many professors also use go to the, to the higher, a little higher than the calculated value. Okay? What do I mean? A little higher here is the 30 ampere. Do not go with 40 ampere. 40 ampere. Let's say you are uh, having a, an actual, a practical uh, installation of this air conditioner. Sir, there is uh, not available in the electrical supply, in the hardware. 30 ampere is not available. Our supplier said that the only available circuit breaker is 20 and 40. 30 is not available in the market right now. But we have to... Uh, to test this air conditioner. Because tomorrow, no, on the next day, there will be a testing and commissioning. So, what are you going to use? The 40 or the 20? If you will ask me, I better use the 20 compared to 40. It's quite hard to... Uh, explain this in a very limited time. No? Uh, I, I need more time for this. No? Maybe if you want to attend my uh, design class, we'll have more of this. Okay. And you can also attend to my uh, free webinar no? this coming Sunday. Uh, we have some discussions on the wiring design example of the PEC. Let me uh, give you my version. Okay. There are many engineers giving a lecture about this. No? It's just that the way of delivery and the way uh, we interpret the code, that will make a difference. Okay. So that is my answer to this. Uh, this is actually a practical question. Okay. Thank you.